I'm here to show you how to turn this render into this, all using a very simple free Blender add-on. First, I'll do a quick overview of how to use this add-on. Then, I'll go into more detail about how you can further customize your renders. So, this add-on is based on the work of Mezaka. He has some pixel art rendering videos on YouTube that I'll be linking in the description. But his add-on uses Cycles as the render engine, so it has some advantages, but it requires a bit more of a setup to use. I'll be talking here about my version, which uses Eevee. To use the add-on, access the viewport side menu using the N key. The first step is to press the Render Settings button. This will change a few settings in Blender, such as the render engine to Eevee, the number of samples in the render, and the render size. The next step is to hit Create Reset Material under the full pixel art material. This creates a material that can be applied to any object in the scene. By applying the material to the cube and hitting Render, we have already achieved the pixel art look. By opening the shader editor, we can further customize the material. First step is to rename the material, and then we can go in on the nodes. On this node here, you can control the strength of the detouring effect. The color ramp here is like in a tone shader, where you can add, subtract or change the colors and change how they react to light. A good way of setting up the color ramp is by downloading a pixel art palette on the internet. By going to the material properties and freestyle line, we can change the color of the line art. The thickness of the line art can be changed in the render properties tab under freestyle. Feel free to change the resolution of the render as this will change the size of the pixels and change the overall feel of the image. If you encounter a bug where the detouring effect is not working, delete the Bayer matrix image on the Blender file and then hit Create Reset Material. Then you can, in the Image Texture node, select the Bayer matrix and the detouring will work again. This is it for the basic use of the add-on. Now I'll go into more detail about the multi-light setup. With the basic material, you can only have one color ramp per material. This means that all light sources, independent of color, are ultimately converted to grayscale and put into the color ramp. But what if you wanted to emulate multiple differently colored light sources affecting your object? By hitting the Create Reset Material button under Multiple Lights Material, you can create a material that can have up to three lights, each with its own different color ramp. There is also a button that creates a tree light setup that works with this material. Each of the lights is purely red, green or blue. The material works by separating the three channels and putting each channel into a different color ramp. Now we have a material where we can blend the three different color ramps using our light sources. Keep in mind that the lights being red, green or blue are just for separating the channels. They will be converted into grayscale when they are inputted into the color ramps. So the color in the color ramp has no association with the color of the light. I have used this multiple light technique to create this yellow highlight on this Game Boy. And that's it. I'll put the download link for the add-on in the video description. I hope you make good use of it. If you have any doubts or encounter any bugs, please send me a message. Thank you.